Hello and welcome once again to Morgate Andrology. Now this is a fairly long video, we will warn you in advance, but today we're going to talk about the different penis enlargement, so, uh, penis enlargement options because guys come to us and you know maybe they've tried a few things or uh, and they've not worked or they've tried nothing but they're looking at the different options but they don't know which option to choose so we thought today we'd make a video which talks about these different options and the pros and cons of each so hopefully you can make an informed decision about which option which penis enlargement option you'd like to invest in now with so many different options it can be really confusing um, but we think that when you're thinking about a penis enlargement, uh, the first thing to do is to think about what's really important to you. And there are certain factors which might help steer you down a particular road uh, which might suit you best. And it's these factors that we're going to talk about first. So the first thing is the recovery period. So some procedures take longer than others to recover from so you know you're going to think need, may need to think for example if you choose penis enlargement surgery you need to think about time off work if you have a sedentary job for example you only need about two to three days off but if you have a more physical job you may need to take a week off work so you know, is taking time off work going to be an issue? Are you prepared to invest in that time off work for a permanent result such as penis enlargement surgery? Or do you have very little time at all? Are you willing to perhaps uh, choose a method such as penis fillers, which uh, require no time off work, uh, but nonetheless are temporary? You're going to need to have these topped up. So think about the recovery period how much time do you have to give to this procedure? The second thing is uh, the potential results. So some procedures such as penis enlargement surgery and penis fillers uh, are driven by what we call science-based medicine. So these are proven medical procedures that we know work. And they are accepted by the medical community as procedures which do work. Um, other procedures such as uh, uh, penile traction devices, um, you know, we, we cannot guarantee the results in these instances. We don't really know for sure uh, how, how big the penis is going to be even after 12 months use. We don't know until you try. Another treatments such as penis enlargement pills lotions potions were completely in the dark so how important is it that you uh, have uh, uh, evidence-based results or are you prepared to invest in uh, some procedures shall we say that are, are are not so scientifically driven the other thing you need to think about is your health so you know how fit and well are you uh, certainly, if you come for a procedure such as penis enlargement surgery and also penis fillers, we'll need to make sure that you're fit and well for a medical procedure. So that's something to think about is your overall health. For example, a, a penis enlargement surgery, you will need a general anaesthetic. So we need to make sure, for example, you're fit enough for, for an anaesthetic. Do you have any allergies? Um, these are things that we need to know if you come for a medical procedure the other thing of course is cost how much are you willing to invest in your penis enlargement so for example the most costly procedure of all is penis enlargement surgery because this is an operation it's a general anesthetic you have to come to hospital it's performed by a specialist urologist you have an anesthetist there uh, there's going to be aftercare needed so it's it's uh, there's quite a bit to it and that comes with uh, a not ins insignificant cost penis fillers less costly but again not permanent pills lotions potions traction devices these are all significantly less cost 
but less predictable results. So you need to think about what you're prepared to invest in your penis enlargement. And next we want to talk about is the longevity of results. Do you want a procedure where the results are going to last a lifetime? Or are you looking for something perhaps more temporary? Generally speaking, more temporary results cost less than penis enlargement surgery, which is the only procedure which really is, you know, is considered to be a permanent. Everything else is temporary, but costs less. So think about um, longevity of results. What is important to you in terms of, uh, of, of, the, of the results? And lastly, who are you willing to trust? So this is really important. If you're going to go for a medical procedure such as penis enlargement surgery or penis fillers, uh, then you need to do your homework on the clinic. You need to do your homework on the urologist. These things are really important. Um, and secondly, if you are if you are going to buy some device or shall we say some pill or potion from the internet, maybe then I suggest that you do your homework on the supplier to make sure that you're buying from a bona fide organisation or individual. So. Who are you willing to trust? Remember, this is your penis. So uh, think very carefully before you, uh, before you um, uh, put your trust in a provider. So let's talk about some of the different penis enlargement options then. And maybe this will help shape your thoughts in terms of which way you would like to go. We will start with penis enlargement surgery since this really is the gold standard way still to increase penis length and penis girth. Um, most patients uh, who choose a medical based penis enlargement procedure will choose uh, penis enlargement surgery. And in this operation, it's possible to increase the flaccid length of your penis between one and two inches. And the flaccid and erect girth or the thickness of your penis also by one to two inches. So, uh, again, these are evidence based results. This is scientifically driven. Um, so that's why guys come for penis enlargement surgery. They want something which they know works and they want results that last. So. Why, why choose, why choose uh, penis enlargement surgery? What are the advantages? Well, as we said, results are considered permanent. It's a proven procedure uh, which, which has evidence-based medicine behind it. Um, it's performed by specialist urologists in the United Kingdom, and it increases both your penis length and your penis girth. And the girth is a natural way to make your penis thicker because it uses your own body fat. So what are the disadvantages then of penis enlargement surgery? Well, firstly, it costs more than just about any other penis enlargement option because it's an operation. It's not an insignificant cost. You're also going to need some time off work. Depending on the type of work you do, you'll need between three and seven days. So typically, if your job is not particularly physical, then two to three days should be enough. If your job is more physical, then you may, you may need to consider up to one week off. The other thing is there's no gym, no sport, no sexual activity for six weeks. It takes six weeks for everything to settle down. The next option we'll look at are penis fillers. Now, these have become um, quite popular in, in recent years. Uh, we were the first people at Morgate Andrology to bring penis fillers to this country uh, about seven or eight years ago now. And uh, uh, they're, they're a great way to get an instant increase in your penis girth without having to invest in surgery. However, the, the 
the results are not permanent and we will come on to that as a, as a disadvantage but they are easier to get done they're a lower cost than surgery in the short term they don't cost anything uh, like uh, the cost of, of penis enlargement surgery perhaps half the cost in most cases there's no general anesthetic required because it's performed under local anesthetic and the results are instant you can instantly see the increase in your penis girth also there's only 10 days uh, abstinence from sexual activity instead of six weeks with penis enlargement surgery so it's a faster recovery and also generally speaking there's no time off work so it ticks a lot of boxes now the disadvantages of penis filler are that the results are temporary so you're going to have to continue to invest money to keep the penis girth that you were given. So there will come a point in the future where you will have spent more money than if you'd chosen a penis enlargement surgery. So that's why around 30 to 40 percent of all patients choose penis enlargement will eventually choose a penis enlargement surgery. They'll stop having the fillers and they'll go for uh, an enlargement surgery for permanent results. Uh, so obviously over the medium to long term, uh, penis filler costs significantly more than a penis enlargement surgery. Cheaper in the short term, more expensive in the medium to long term. Also in recent times, it has to be said, a number of different individuals and clinics have popped up in the United Kingdom. Uh, offering penis enlargement injections with hyaluronic acid and there are now a number of uh, inexperienced practitioners now performing penis enlargement uh, fillers and we, our advice would be to stick with uh, a clinic that has a specialist urologist performing penis fillers then you can be sure you're being treated by a qualified an experienced medical professional in genital procedures. So the next thing I want to talk about are penis enlargement pills. These pop up all the time. Guys that come into Morgate Andrology quite often, they've tried various pills, uh, usually bought off the internet, uh, and all claiming to be able to increase the penis size. Of course, if there is an advantage to penis uh, enlargement pills, it's that they only cost a few pounds to buy and they're delivered to your door. But the disadvantages, uh, in our uh, considered opinion, they simply don't work. We have yet to see any penis enlargement pill that can increase penis size. And there is no evidence-based medicine that shows that you can take a pill which will make your penis bigger. Also, it's an unregulated environment. You can buy these pills off the internet and you, you may be uh, very unsure about what it is that you're actually taking. Um, they may interact also with other medicines you are taking. So if you're taking other prescribed medications, uh, you cannot be sure that they're going to interact with what you're taking in a negative way. And usually any improvement, even if you do see improvement with these pills, uh, if you stop taking the pills, then the, uh, any benefit is lost. And also, of course, you, you have to take pills then on a daily basis. <clears throat> a lot of guys don't like taking pills at the best of times, but you are committed to, to taking them to see any results. So that's penis enlargement pills, not something we would particularly recommend. The other uh, technique is jelking. There's a lot of information about jelking on the internet. And a lot of guys uh, do say that they have had results uh, when they have tried uh, jelking techniques over a longer period of time. And this is a, um, a technique involves stretching the penis manually. And this releases uh, growth factors into the penis to increase penis size. The advantage of jelking, of course, is there's zero cost. You don't have to buy anything. 
you, you do this yourself. There's no surgery, no injections, no medical intervention uh, at all. So there are the advantages. The disadvantages of gel king is that there you you can cause uh, damage to your penis due to the excessive force uh, that you put on the penis. So we have seen cases of this at Morgate Andrology. So there's potential penis damage if the force is too excessive. Uh, it can be painful to do, although we wouldn't suggest doing any penis enlargement method, uh, any manual method, shall we say, that causes pain to the penis, because again, we're back to this risk of penile damage. And also, there's a long-term commitment to gel king before you see any appreciable results. So that will be gel king. Uh, and lastly, we want to talk about the injection of uh, silicon into the penis or PMMA filler, which is sort of semi-permanent um, uh, filler. Now, injecting silicon into the penis, we're not, we're not aware of any doctor or clinic that injects pure silicon into the penis, but this, this treatment is available on the continent. Um, they are performed on an outpatient basis. Uh, it's an injectable treatment. Um, if there's an advantage, it's that they do last longer than hyaluronic acid. There's no doubt about that. They cost less than penis enlargement surgery and potentially a faster recovery. But the, the, the advantage, first of all, is that there's a significant um, uh, infection risk. And infection is something that obviously we want to avoid at, if at all possible in the penis. If you get lump and bump formations after injecting silicon into the penis, they, these can be very difficult to treat. Lump and bump formations can happen penis enlargement surgery and in penis fillers, but these are treatable. But if you inject silicon into the penis, this can be extremely difficult to treat. And I think if, you, if you're looking to inject silicon in your penis, you will be very hard pressed to find any uh, reputable doctor or urologist willing to carry out uh, silicon injections into your penis. So again, something we wouldn't really recommend. Well, I hope that's given you some ideas of the different penis enlargement options out there. Obviously, you need to consider the best option for you. What we would suggest is if you're serious about penis enlargement, that you arrange a consultation with a qualified doctor, ideally a qualified urologist in the United Kingdom. If you go and, and have a consultation, but you get the right information, you can ask the questions of the doctor that are in for you. Often you well, will get an examination of genitals, so check that everything is okay uh, before we consider any procedure. Well, that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to hear more from Morgate Andrology, then please do subscribe. We make these videos and post them regularly. But until next time, well, that's all from me today. I look forward to seeing you back here at Morgate Andrology very soon. But until then, bye for now.